Well, Jamie wanted Steve to take another polygraph exam, so we reached out to Jack Tremarco. In my opinion, he is the top polygraph examiner on the globe. He's a former FBI special agent and FBI polygraph examiner. Now, Jack has conducted over 3,500 polygraph examinations. Let me ask you, you met Jack Tremarco. Uh, were you comfortable with him? Yes, sir, I was. Did you feel like you were treated fairly by him? I was. Were you hurried in any way? Did you, were you pressured by him in any fashion? Or did he no. take his time with you and explain everything? He took his time, yeah, it was about three hours. So you have no complaints about the test? I do not. Okay. Jack, was there anything that you detected that caused you to question the results of this test? No, it was an average test. Steve was uh, a cooperative person. All right, and you didn't detect any countermeasures? No countermeasures. Uh, attempts to beat the test in any way? No. There were four questions on this test. Question one, did you ever touch Amber for a sexual reason? And your answer was? No. Did you ever touch Amber for a sexual reason when she was a child? No. Did you ever touch Jessica for a sexual reason? No. Did you ever touch Jessica for a sexual reason when she was a child? No. And the results were non-deceptive that you were telling the truth. I knew it. This whole thing just felt like a witch hunt from the beginning. It was terrible. I, I hear these allegations. I don't it's sad. What do you think about these results? I don't care what it says. I, I know what he did to me. And I'm not making it up. I understand. What do you think? I yeah. think he believes his lies so much that he's able to see the test. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, I said before I opened that envelope that I felt like I knew what it was going to say and <laughs> that I, I knew why. I, I thought you were going to pass this test. Um, this test measures what you perceive to be the truth. Correct, Jack? Exactly right. I said this very early on in our conversation. If you'll think back, I said, if you believe he really believes what he's saying, why would you be upset with him? Because you, you can't be mad at somebody f for believing what they believe, if they believe it. And I said, why would you be upset with her if, if she believes what she believes? That doesn't mean that that's not distorted in some way. And I have no doubt that alcohol has played a huge part in distorting your recollections, your inhibitions, your behaviors. Do I think that you're lying? Absolutely not. The fact that you recanted doesn't make me believe that you're lying. Do I think that you're lying? Absolutely not, absolutely not, absolutely not, absolutely not, and absolutely not. I don't think anybody's lying here. I believe that this is a highly dysfunctional situation. I believe that your respect of boundaries in a family full of women is really poor. You guys are hurt and you need to heal.